Now, a brazen robbery outside a popular West Hollywood mm -hmm. restaurant. Two men hold up a couple at gunpoint before taking off with valuables. And this time it was at Craig's restaurant on Melrose, mm -hmm. the latest in a long series of robberies and attacks that have rattled residents. And KCAL News reporter Lauren Posen is live there tonight with details. Lauren. Well, Pat and Juan, you know, these are very bold criminals. Basically, what they're doing is they're going up to people armed and then taking anything they can off of them. And that's exactly what happened here outside of Craig's last night. And let me tell you, it has this entire community on high alert. These things are happening with increasing frequency. Uh, they're more serious. They're more dangerous. They're more... Um, there are more people involved. There was it's a sad reality for West Hollywood resident Alan Strasberg. That's why he says he wasn't surprised to hear about another robbery. It happened outside the popular celebrity hotspot Craig's Thursday morning. Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputies say two people were approached by two armed suspects in dark clothing and masks and stole a watch. They say the suspects got into a white car driven by a third suspect. No one got hurt, but people were definitely shaken, including reality star Haley DeSola Pinto. That's her in this video from outside of the restaurant. She witnessed the robbery and told us she didn't get hurt, but says the whole ordeal was frightening and definitely changed her perspective of how safe she feels in the city. This robbery comes after another scary encounter last month in the 800 block of Larrabee Street. Just look at the security camera video. Investigators say the three suspects got out of a black SUV, pushed the victim against a fence, in their hands a handgun and rifle. Deputies say the suspects dug through the man's pockets, taking his cell phone and wallet before kicking him to the ground. It's another reason why Strasburg says he won't walk anywhere at night. I used to go for a passeggiato, an after-dinner walk, every night through my neighborhood. I haven't done that in probably two years. I walk here, I come to the Abbey on Thursday nights to meet friends. I walked here, I'm probably going to take an Uber home because it will be close to dark, and I'm just not walking after dark. In March, deputies say a man approached a woman while she was at a bus bench on Santa Monica Boulevard, forced her into a nearby parking garage, and then sexually assaulted her. In April, two men were robbed with what appeared to be assault rifles behind Lubbo M. That, combined with vandalism to break-ins, frustrated the owner so much he closed his popular restaurant for one day to talk with city council about his safety concerns. And while the city has implemented unarmed safety ambassadors and rolled back on cutting the number of deputies on the streets, people living here say it's just not enough. We have a district attorney who, whose policies cause these things. We let people out of jail. We don't have bail. We have, we have deprioritizing many crimes. When you deprioritize any crime, it all becomes deprioritized. And we checked the numbers tonight, and while crime is down about 19% compared to last year, that doesn't ease the frustrations of people living here or for those experiencing this crime. Now, if you have any information that can help investigators on any of those cases you just saw, go ahead and call the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Reporting in West Hollywood, Lauren Posen, KCAL News.